Welcome to Q&A, Social Security Disability Today. This program is brought to you by the Reeves Law Firm, representing you and your Social Security and Disability needs. If you have a problem or questions regarding Social Security and Disability, call attorney Anthony Reeves. Here's your host, attorney Anthony Reeves. Okay, I get this question quite a bit. Does the representative I hire have to be in the same state that I live in? And my short answer is, it really just depends on you. And let me just give you the more direct answer. Do you have to hire someone in your own state? No, you don't have to. Social Security Disability Practice is a federal administrative practice. So pretty much most reps can, basically almost all reps can appear before any Social Security court across the country. So it doesn't matter if you live in Alaska and they live in Florida, if you live in New York and they live in Hawaii, as long as they are permitted to, to practice before the Social Security Administration, they can travel to you. It's not a problem. There's a lot of reps out there that have what we call, what I like to call nationwide practices, including our firm. The question really you need to ask yourself is, will it cost you anything for them to travel there? Most time when people ask me the question, I'm like, they're like, do I have to hire somebody in my state? I'm like, it's not a matter do you want to hire someone in your state. It's really a matter of what are you prepared to pay if you want somebody out of state. Some firms waive the cost to travel, which is great. You know, like I, I think Bender & Bender is one of them. You know, I, I believe. I'm not, don't quote me that. I don't work at Bender & Bender, but they have a huge nationwide practice. So they may be in a position where they can, you know, they have reps all over the place. So they have the ability to kind of absorb some of those costs. Some of your smaller representatives may not be, they may be able to travel, but they may not be able to absorb that cost. Now, I've told a few people that I said, I'm in a unique situation where um, I have two locations that I travel to fairly re regularly, Nashville, Tennessee, and Jacksonville, North Carolina, outside of the state of Florida. So Florida, Nash Florida, Tennessee, and North Carolina, I don't charge travel for if I'm going into those states, mainly because I'm there on such a regular basis, so I, don't have, I can pass that cost off. Any other state, it just depends. It depends on where you're going. Like, for instance, my main office is in Florida. So if I've got a client that's in South Georgia or South Alabama, Southern Alabama, the cost for travel may not be as high because those are fairly close. But I've had clients who contacted me or I've had prospect clients who contacted me as far as Philadelphia and some as far west as Phoenix and I've told, or even California. And I said, you know what? If you don't mind incurring that uh, retainer cost for paying for my travel expenses, I don't mind. But in those cases, I typically try to steer people towards somebody who's local because you can get a great representative in your area. Let me be the first to tell you, for those who've reached out to me, I ain't got nothing but love for you. Got nothing but love for you. Thank you for thinking of me. I really, really do. Don't take it the wrong way if, if you hear me tell you it's really in your best interest because let me just be real. Let's be real here. I've had a couple of people from California ask me, will I come to California? And I've told them, yes. But let's just be real here. Would you rather pay me $1,500 to travel out there on the hope that I get your disability benefits? Or would you rather have a representative in the area who's just as good, if not even better than I am, and you don't have to even worry about paying that cost? And it's amazing how, hmm, I never thought of it like that. Like, yeah, well, you know, I'm, my thought is, listen, if you really want me and you are in a financial position to be able to afford to have me travel to you, great it's awesome i've had at least one or two people who've done that where they've sent me like retainer you know i've had a few retainers here and i'm like great but if you know that your money is funny and you're trying to, to you know get in where you can fit in i'd be more than happy to direct you in the attention to a different a couple of organizations and that can help you get somebody locally and depending on where you are i may even know somebody in those geographical areas Long story short is you don't have to use a representative in your area. Just be mindful that if you get somebody out of state, find out up front if it's going to cost you anything to utilize their services to get them to come there.